Look, listen, a new video starting. <laughs> Hello everyone, I am Miss Fushi and welcome back to the Crooked Man. So we have just received an item list on paper um, of some letters that we have to find. They're like little puzzle pieces to a lockbox which holds something. So we need to find that. And what I went ahead and did is I wrote them down on a piece of paper. You can see the beautiful, just the beautiful, beautiful paper. I wrote them down so it'll be easier for me to not have to open up the menu and look at them every time. So, here we are. I'm going to move this paper over so it's not in my way. And then we can go explore. Uh, let's see. Only a few books are here. The Way of a Modern Family, Family and Medicine. Okay. Let's see. A plea from the hospital. To all mothers carrying babies, please stop abandoning them in front of the hospital. Six precious lives have been lost this month alone. That's so sad. Won't open. Emergency patient transport. The door won't open. Okay. Ooh. What is... Is that downstairs? I guess so. The medicine room. It's locked. It won't open. The door plate is faded and hard to read. Wonder what's in there. Let's see. A stretcher. If I'm looking for pieces, I feel like I have to search more places. Let's see. Let's go upstairs. Ooh, a wheelchair. We have pediatrics. Fluffy! Excuse me. There you are, Fluffy. Don't you know not to wander off alone? I can't handle the- Oh. I can handle the dark fine. I told you, I'm a big boy. I'm not gonna cry like some baby. Ugh. <sighs> you sure do seem brave, Fluffy. I have to admire that. Really? <laughs> yeah. You're as brave as Captain America. Uh, <laughs> I'm kind of scared of walking in the dark, but I'm here looking for someone. If only there was someone here to depend on. Just my luck. Okay, I'll go with you, Mr. David. Whoa, really? Wow, what a relief. Thanks. I feel so much safer with you here, Fluffy. Hehe, <laughs> I'll protect you, Mr. David. We'll stick together until his mother shows up. If she doesn't, Sheriff's office it is. Okay. Oh, he follows me. That's so cute. Okay. It's the shiny thing the doctor uses. I want one. Can I have it? Um, it's kind of dirty. You probably shouldn't. Various medical equipment. What's this stuff? I don't really know either. I hope he doesn't make, like, comments about everything I click on. Uh, surgical department. Keyhole's painted over. ENT. It's painted over. It won't open. Ooh, I wonder where this leads. The keyhole's painted over. What is this room? The electrocardiogram monitor. Oh, it's for heart. There are things posted on the board, but they're too messy to read. Because they're written in a doctor's handwriting. <laughs> okay. Uh, a medical device that uses ultrasonic waves. What about in here? There's nothing. There's nothing. Hmm. Any of the clues? Nurses know that. I don't think any of the clues are these things. Let's see. An IV stand. It doesn't look like it's anything in this room. Is this a room? Wait. Is that the same? It is. Is this also too messy to read? I wonder. Huh. An IV stand. I guess they're all the same. I can leave it at that. Let's see. That room's busted. 
The lock is busted. A public phone. There's something in the change slot. Got an F piece. That doesn't sound appropriate. Got it. Okay. So we... Where did my pen go? Oh, there it is. Okay, so give me a call. Got it. We did that one. Saving all the times. And what's this room? Ophthalmology for your eyeballs. Maternity and genealogy. Is that a fetus? A model of an embryo. Oh, it's not a real baby, thank God. A baby? <laughs> it looks like a monkey. Well, babies kind of do. They really do. Mysterious machine? Does that work? There's no power. Mysterious machine. Click, beep boop. Don't touch that thing, please. Small shelves, there's something here. Got a small key. Awesome, can't click on this thing. Uh, let's see, can't click over here. Anything on the board? Nope. A sparse number of books. Nothing else it looks like. All right, we got a key though, yay. All right, what's this room? Dermatology, for your skin? Paint it over. It won't open. Let's see if these rooms are the same. What is this? Piece of medical equipment. Various medical equipment. Is that another IV? That's an ultrasonic thing. Examination table. There are x-rays up on the whiteboard. Hmm. Small container. Small container. Everything basically looks the same here. A door locked with a three-digit code seems to lead to emergency stairs. I hope I don't get in an emergency. So we have a small key. I wonder where we, where we should use that. Hmm. We can go up again? Gosh. Oh no, there's something on the ground. <laughs> Radiology. I don't want to read it. Found a scrap from a notebook. My mother told me I was born here. She called it a place of happiness, but for me, it's a place of regret. I wish I could kill my child self, back when I was pure, when I still thought everyone loved me. God, that's horrible. Cranial surgery. Psychiatry? It's locked. Okay, and I can't go in the stairwell. This kind of room. Beaker and flask. A board. I wonder what these rooms are going to be used for. There's so many I can get into. But there's nothing in them. Emergency staircase. So we have to remember the one with the phone was the one that had a three-digit code. Can we go up more? No, we can't. Doesn't look like. Okay. I guess that means we get to start going down then. So we already tried all these doors. Already even in this one, I scared myself. <laughs> I get scared so easy. Oh my gosh. Okay, go back down. We already went in this one. In that one. We don't need to go in there. And we can't go in there. So what door was locked? I don't remember. There are so many doors in this place. Oh my gosh. I'm just gonna keep saving. Well, let's think. Uh, where do you have lunch? It's gotta be the cafeteria. Cafeteria. Okay. While you eat at the table, uh, let's see. Huh, there's something here. Got an L piece. Yay, we did it! So where do you have lunch? Got it. Yay, okay. So next one. See, flower is good, wash your hands, nurses know that, and close to the sky. So let's see what else we have. Uh, 201. Huh. 
That's a spooky room. We don't need that. Uh, let's go ahead up another one. And which room was this? I forget. Day room, that's right. But I didn't see a sink. Close to the sky, flower is good. Magazine rack. Nothing there. And these are dispensers, right? Yeah, those are just dispensers. Let's see. These? This one's busted. This one's busted. That one's busted too. All of those are. Let's go up the stairs. And vomit still. Icky. Yeah, Icky's right. Was there something in that chair? Was that a glitch? Was there something in that chair? Got a scrap from a notebook. I sat in the chair and watched the bed like always. Oh, it must have been. Only there was no one in the bed anymore. What, it could, what have I accomplished? I can only watch my family scream. I still can't answer that question. It's his notebook. No doubt he was here. But is he still here now? Drawers are empty. A drab bed. A single chair. Can I push it? I saw. I saw that. That was creepy. Oh my goodness. Ooh. Counseling room. That's the one I unlocked. Okay. Awesome. <gasps> I just saw a shadow. Was it my imagination? Nope. It was not. I saw it before. What's up, Mr. David? It's nothing. Nothing at all, child. Nothing at all. Not even the littlest bit. Do, do, do. Counseling schedules are posted up. A broken old refrigerator. Shelves are empty, empty, empty. There's a lone diary here. 12 3, 3 15, or 3 35 p.m. Tape 15, visitor A, guarantor for a relative in room 413. A visited, oh, I think it should be I visited. A visited, no. I visit after sudden change in patient's condition. Patient was hospitalized upon identified brain illness. Surgery deemed necessary due to declining health. The patient tortures A, oh, it is A. The patient tortures A daily due to thinking herself healthy. Her memories of A are also vague. A sought counseling on how to cope. The patient misunderstands it as A abandoning her. She cries and screams, her mind unstable. Counseling will likely continue for both. Tape 16, Visitor A, guarantor for room in 413. A visited after patient's death. He lamented that, given she was going to die, he couldn't watch over her at home. He stated that living in, ag living in itself is not happy, so if life is agony, then wanting death is unavoidable. Should I refuse him as a doctor or tolerate it as a person of dignity? I wish he would come back here, but unfortunately, I can't force him. I wonder if this kind of thing happens a lot. What's that, a storybook? No, it's not. There's a key in the diary. Got the psychiatry key. Oh, awesome. Okay, psychiatry key. That's good. So I guess after we finish here, we can go to unlock the psychiatry room. Let's see, these are all busted, right? Yeah. Okay, let's go back down. Goodness, there is going to be a lot of running back and forth in this video. <laughs> but that's okay, because we can sing our songs as we run back and forth, as we run back and forth. As we run and try not to die. As we run, as we run, and we try. <laughs> there was a crooked man, and he walked a crooked mile. He found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked stile. He bought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse. And then they all lived together in a crooked house. There was a crooked man, huh? Yeah, Mama taught it to me. I like to sing, so I sing lots, and I like that song. 
I see. What is it, mister? I actually learned it as a kid, too, but I didn't like it very much. Why not? I just felt like it was a sad song to me. The guy's been crooked his whole life, and all he's got around him is crooked stuff. I was scared to think, what if I was a crooked man? Only when I was a kid, of course. I'm sorry. I, I don't get it, mister, but I'm sorry for singing a sad song. Oh, no, it just reminded me of that. You're a good singer, Fluffy. Do you sing with your mama? Yeah, mama likes to sing, too. It's fun to sing with her. Do you sing, too, David? Huh, <laughs> no, I'm no good. You're better off not hearing me try. Goodness. Spooksy, spooksy potatoes. Okay. I forget where the psychiatry room was. I think it was one of the ones upstairs, right? Pediatrics? Surgical? E.N.T. No, it was a little higher up. There. Let's see. Ophthalmology? Maternity? Dermatology? Not quite. I think we got one more. Cranial psychiatry. There we go. Unlocked. What is that? Is that a hanging shadow or a hanging person? Ooh. And with that, we're going to stop this video here because we're, you know, running short on time and stuff. Not because it's a cliffhanger or anything. But yeah, leave a thumbs up and, uh, Thank you so much for watching, <laughs> and uh, I will see you guys on the next episode of The Crooked Man. Bye-bye.